Okay, this is property three of congruence, the transitive property. Um, we're going to prove this very, very similarly to how we proved the other two. We're going to combine a property of equality with the definition of congruence, and we're going to use those things to prove that there must be a transitive property of congruence as well. So this we're taking as a common notion or something that's obvious. This one we're saying, well, maybe, maybe you have to prove this to me because I'm not so sure about congruence. Um, and we're going to kind of use a, a chain of logic here. So given, we're going to start with a statement that looks like this, and we're going to prove this, okay? So we're going to start with basically three, three segments here. So we're, we're going to have if A, B is congruent to some other segment, C, D, and then that segment, C, D, is congruent to some third statement, E, F or excuse me, some third segment EF. Okay, that's that's the, the given statement. What we want to show is that first segment must be congruent to that third segment. AB is congruent to EF. All right, we want us to be able to skip over that middle guy. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So, again, we're going to start with our given statement. AB is congruent to CD, and this is like a kind of a two-part statement. Um, CD is congruent to EF. That's our first statement. Both of those are part of our first statement, and that's the given. Okay, whoops. Let's make sure those are segments, right? Because we're talking about congruence here, so we've got to talk about segments, not, not measurements. Okay, but the immediate thing we can go to once we have two congruent segments is just, okay, well, their measurements are equal then, right? Okay, that's what congruence means. Congruence means equal in measure, equal in length, equal distance, right? Definition of congruent segments. So the next statement we're going to say is, okay, well, then AB equals CD, and CD is equal to EF, right? Just definition of congruence. In this case, we're talking about congruent segments, so you could say definition of congruent segments if you wanted to. But typically, you know, congruence means equal in measurement, whether we're talking about angles or segments or triangles or whatever. So we're going to say definition of column here. Def of column is my abbreviation there. Okay. Um, the next statement then, of course, is, well, now that we're in equality, we're allowed to use our transitive property of equality. All right, cool. So if AB equals CD and CD equals EF, well, that means that AB is equal to EF. Right? We're allowed to use this. We're assuming this is true. We're saying this is a common notion or this is an obvious statement about equality that we can all kind of get behind um, because we're familiar with you know, how equality works and things like that. So this is, the, uh, this is the statement that comes from this statement, and that's the transitive property of equality. Okay, And now we just switch right back to congruence. Now that we have two... Um, equal segment measurements, we can say that these segments then would have to be congruent to each other. And again, that's the definition of congruence. So a def of Kong again. All right? So what we just proved is starting with this statement, these, these two congruent statements, we can get this third congruent statement, which proves that for, you know, these are all just arbitrary um, segments that we picked. So this is going to be true in any case. So now we've proven the transitive property of congruence, and we can use each of these properties of congruence when we're doing a proof. We've, uh, we've taken properties of equality, combined it with this definition to get new results, which Euclid would call propositions. In, these, in this case, we're going to call these properties, but other new facts that we're going to learn, oftentimes we call theorems. Okay, So um, we're going to try proving a theorem in the next video. and. Uh, see if we can get a little bit more. Transitive property is a really powerful um, property that we can use, but we're going to try to get this just a little bit more general. So tune in for the next video on that guy.